Roland V Drums. V Drums Virtual Drums are a line of electronic drums by Roland Corporation. Introduced originally in 1997, Roland's V Drums have evolved over the years since, with many sound module improvements and dramatic changes to their drum and cymbal pads. The Roland V Drum lines are industry leaders in their respective tiers, including some of the most expensive and high end electronic drums that one can buy. Trigger Types V Drum's trigger devices are of four major types mesh head drum pads, rubber pads, cymbal pads, and acoustic drum triggers. Mesh head pads look very similar to acoustic drums and attempt to emulate their feel. The simpler, more generic type is a rubber pad, which is less expensive, but also looks and feels less like an acoustic drum. There are several models of cymbal pads, also called V cymbals. The more expensive ones attempt to emulate the physical properties of acoustic cymbals of various types, e.g., hi hat, crash, ride, while the simpler, less expensive cymbal pads are less realistic. Acoustic drum triggers can be used to provide trigger signals from standard acoustic drums. From an electrical point of view, trigger pads can be of the following types. Mono pads, using one piezoelectric sensor for the head. Usually kick drum pads or older and less expensive pads. Stereo pads, using one piezo sensor for the head. If the rim switch is triggered, the signal strength is determined by the head's piezo sensor. Mostly rubber pads and cymbal pads. Stereo pads using two piezo sensors, one for the head and one for the rim. Mostly mesh head pads. Three way pads using one piezo sensor and two switches. Roland's three way cymbal pads, C Imminus 12R slash C, C Imminus 13R, and C Imminus 15R work this way. The piezo triggers the bow, and the switches trigger edge and bell. Rubber pads. Round rubber pads were introduced with the T Demonus 7 drum module. In 1992, previous Roland pads were polygonal and were universally used as trigger pads for drums and cymbals. Since the introduction of mesh head drum pads and cymbal shaped trigger pads, standard rubber pads are only used as tom tom and until recently bass drum trigger pads on Roland's less expensive drum kits. More expensive kits don't include any rubber pads at all anymore. The downsides of rubber pads are their less realistic rebound and their relatively high ambient noise level compared to mesh head pads, but their lower price and increased durability still makes them a better choice in some cases. Cloth head pads Cloth head drum pads were introduced with the KD-9 in 2011 using a cloth-like material as the drum head with an underlying, relatively thick layer of foam. These pads are softer than rubber pads and feel more realistic, while producing less ambient noise. They are only available in small sizes though, and the head tension cannot be adjusted like on mesh head pads. Mesh head pads, head pads. Roland V drums mesh head triggers resemble acoustic drums in both appearance and feel. The striking surface is a two-layer taut woven mesh of fibers fitted with several electronic sensors. This allows the mesh head trigger to respond to the play of a drumstick in a manner that feels more like real drums than their earlier rubber predecessors. Roland developers have stated that the design of the mesh head V pad was inspired in part by a small toy trampoline. In 1997, Roland developed and patented an updated version of mesh head drum triggers, a key feature of the V drums line. As such, the name V drums sometimes refers specifically to Roland's mesh head based drum triggers. The company began marketing the mesh head triggers under the V drums name in 1997 in conjunction with the T Demonis 10 drum module. Roland mesh head V drums have a playable rim which has its own electronic sensors and corresponding sounds. V drums and other electronic drum products have taken substantial market share from acoustic drums due to advances in electronic drum technology that have improved the value proposition of electronic drums over a. Electronic drum kits, especially mesh head based ones, 
make significantly less ambient noise than acoustic drum kits, and mesh heads provide a playing feel more similar to acoustic drums than non-mesh electronic pads, typically rubber. Mesh heads used in V-drums kits today are made by the American drum head company Ramal. Acoustic drum triggers Roland also makes acoustic drum triggers, which can be mounted on the rims of standard acoustic drums and provide a trigger signal from those drums, effectively turning them into trigger pads. The acoustic drum head can either be left on the drum to get the acoustic sound as well as a trigger signal, or the drum head can be replaced with a mesh head to lower ambient noise, if only the trigger signal is needed. Symbol Pads In the early 2000s, Roland moved away from using standard rubber pads as symbol triggers and introduced new symbol-shaped trigger pads with a rubber surface, which they call V-symbols. The more expensive symbol pads can swing freely after being hit only rotation of the pad is prevented by a special symbol mount, so they feel more like real symbols, while the less expensive symbol pads are not movable and always stay in their fixed position, thus feeling less realistic. Some of the movable pads also feature a third bell zone, which is triggered when hitting the bell area of the symbol pad. These symbol pads are called three-way symbols, because of their three trigger zones, bell, bow, and edge. Electronic hi-hats Electronic hi-hats are always made up of two components, a trigger pad to detect hits, and a variable resistor-based hi-hat controller to detect the foot position, so the drum module can determine whether the hi-hat is supposed to be open or closed or somewhere in between. The simpler, Less expensive solution uses a simple fixed V symbol pad in combination with a separate foot pedal controller, which allows the drum module to replicate the sound of a hi-hat, but does not emulate the feel and scope of expressiveness of acoustic hi-hats. The more expensive V hi-hats integrate trigger pad and controller into a set of two opposing pieces, designed to be mounted on a conventional hi-hat stand. Because the hi-hat pad moves with the position of the pedal and can swing freely when the hi-hat is opened, this solution is more similar to a traditional acoustic hi-hat. The most complex and most expensive VH-13 V hi-hat and the older VH-12 can also detect different amounts of foot pressure in the closed position, but they are only compatible with the TD-30 and the older TD-12 and TD-20 drum modules. The simpler VH-11 can be used with more modules, but it cannot sense foot pressure in the closed position. Available drum and cymbal pads Available hi-hat controllers Pad-slash-module compatibility Generally, all Roland drum pads and cymbal pads can be connected to any input on any Roland drum module, and the head-slash-bow zone will always work. However, when more capable pads are connected to less capable inputs, some zones, e.g. rim slash edge or bell on the drum pad, cannot be used. Connecting less capable pads to more capable inputs usually lets you use all zones of the pad. Drum pads and cymbal pads from other manufacturers are also generally compatible with Roland drum modules as long as they use a piezo as the head slash bow trigger, but zones other than head slash bow are sometimes problematic especially on three-zone pads. Also, the module settings may need some tweaking. Hi-hat controllers, however, are not usually compatible between manufacturers. There are different kinds of stereo pads and stereo inputs. While all types of stereo pads and inputs do have two channels, they are still electrically different, so not all combinations of stereo pads and stereo inputs let you use all zones slash features. There is also a detailed compatibility chart for current Roland trigger devices and drum modules on one of the last pages of Roland's V-Drums catalog, which is also available as a PDF download from their home page. Discontinued modules are not included in their chart, though. Roland drum modules Roland drum modules range in features and price from the top of the line TD-50 to the TD-27, TD-17, TD-4, TD-1, and HD-3, although the TD-1 and HD-3 brains are not sold separately, 
as they connect with a proprietary 25-pin parallel. Higher model numbers denote more advanced models, while lower numbers are used for less expensive ones. The TD-30, TD-25, TD-20, TD-15, TD-12, TD-11, TD-10, TD-9, TD-8, TD-7, TD-6, TD-5, TD-3 and HD-1 are out of production. Available drum modules. Availability timeline. Drum module input capabilities. It is important to note that not all drum module inputs have the same capabilities. Besides the obvious differences between mono, stereo, and three-way inputs, which support mono single zone, stereo dual zone, or three zone pads accordingly, there are additional differences in the capabilities of stereo inputs. While some stereo inputs only support pads with a piezo and a switch piezo slash switch inputs, others also support pads with two piezos piezo slash piezo inputs. Also, some stereo inputs are only intended to be split into two mono inputs by using an insert cable mono slash mono inputs. Certain pairs of stereo inputs can be configured to form one three-way input. On some drum modules, some inputs may support additional features such as positional sensing or brush sweeps. The capabilities of drum module inputs are listed in the table below. For details about which type of trigger pads are compatible with which type of drum module input, see section pad slash module compatibility above. The column connector type shows the number of trigger inputs with audio jack sockets and the number of trigger inputs with audio jack plugs on a proprietary wiring harness. If a module uses a wiring harness, inputs that feature an audio jack socket are indicated with an asterisk asterisk next to the input type. Drum sets Roland V drums components are typically sold as drum sets, which are made up of drum and cymbal pads, a hi-hat pad and controller, a drum module and a drum rack. Sometimes additional hardware such as a kick drum pedal and a hi-hat stand is also included usually only as limited offers. High-end V-Drums Sets Roland's most advanced and most expensive V-Drums sets include the Pro Drum Sets Roland's flagship drum sets TD-50 Drum Module previously TD-10 TD-20 TD-20 X TD-30 with all the advanced features very extendable some digital pads ride and snare Larger diameter mesh head drum pads, larger diameter mesh head kick drum pad, movable crash cymbals, and three way ride cymbal, movable two piece hi hat, large drum rack. In the past, Roland also sold V stage drum sets, which had smaller pads and came with a slightly stripped down drum module first TD 8, then TD 12 with fewer inputs but still most of the advanced features of the flagship modules. The V-Stage drum sets were discontinued in 2012 when the TD-30 was introduced. Instead, Roland is now also offering a V-Pro drum set with smaller and less expensive pads. Mid-Tier V-Drum Sets Roland's mid-tier V-Drum sets include V-Tour drum sets, drum sets, TD-25 drum module previously, TD-6 slash 6V, then TD-9, then TD-15 with only some advanced features, only slightly extendable, medium-sized mesh head pads, or simpler small mesh head pads on less expensive sets, simple cloth kick drum pad, movable crash cymbal, and three-way ride cymbal, movable two-piece hi-hat, or fixed hi-hat and foot controller on earlier sets, medium-sized drum rack, a TD-25 kV model adds an extra crash cymbal, the compact drum sets, drum sets, drum sets, TD-11 drum module previously TD-3, then TD-4 with no advanced features, only slightly extendable, simple small mesh head drum pads, or only one simple mesh head drum pad, and three rubber pads on less expensive sets, simple cloth kick drum pad, movable crash cymbal, and three-way ride cymbal, 
or fixed cymbal pads on less expensive sets, fixed hi-hat and foot controller, small drum rack, entry-level V-drum sets. Roland's entry-level V-drum sets include V-drum's portable drum set, TD-4 drum module with no advanced features, only slightly extendable, rubber pads for snare and toms, simple rubber kick drum pad, fixed cymbal pads, fixed hi-hat and foot controller, very compact foldable drum rack, V-drum's light drum set, HD-3 drum module previously HD-1 with no advanced features not extendable, one simple small mesh head drum pad, and three rubber pads, foot controller based kick drum, fixed cymbal pads, fixed hi-hat and foot controller, very compact drum rack, older drum sets, older drum sets with the TD-7 and the less expensive TD-5 drum module had all rubber pads as drum and cymbal pads, simple kick drum pads, and a rubber pad and foot controller for the hi-hat. Although they were not marketed as V-drums at the time, they used the same technology, and the trigger pads continued to be used in later V-drum sets. TD-7 and TD-5 drum sets were discontinued in the late 1990s, when the TD-10 and TD-8 were introduced. Available drum sets Artists who use Roland V drums